Chapter 6 Computer Networking This chapter covers Meaning of Networking Computer Network Benefits of Computer Networks Network Components Wireless Network Various Kinds of Networks Network Topologies What do you mean by networking? In the world of computers, networking is the practice of connecting two or more computing devices together for the purpose of sharing data. Networks are built by mixing computer hardwares and computer softwares. Definition of Computer Network A computer network can be defined as the interconnection or coordination of a number of individual computers. A computer network is fundamentally established by the network layer in the Open Systems Infrastructure Model, popularly called the OSI model. Computer network exists on different scales, from connections between machines in the same room up through wiring linking the machines in a campus or building to regional, national and global networks. Different means are used to carry the communication signals, fiber optic cables, copper wires and wireless or radio transmissions, etc. Always remember... Renuda led Novel was sometimes known as the father of network computing for his pioneership in the network software development. Benefits of Computer Networks In most of the organizations, a network offers benefits like data sharing and online communication that are not provided by a stand-alone environment. In this section, you will identify the benefits of a network. Data Sharing the data can be easily shared in the network so other users can access it at any time. For example, a user functioning in a team desires to share some data with the other team members. If he networks the data, it can be shared easily in the network so that the other team members can access it. Resource sharing Resource sharing is also a significant benefit of a computer network. For example, if there are five persons in a family, each having their own computer, they will need five modems for internet connection and five printers if they desire to use the resources simultaneously. A computer network, on the other hand, provides a cheaper alternative by the provision of resource sharing. In this manner, all the five computers can be interlinked using a network and simply one modem and printer can efficiently provide the services to all five members. The facility of shared folders can also be used by family members. Centralized Software Management one of the biggest benefits of installing a network is the fact that all of the software can be loaded on one computer, the file server. This requires of the spending time and energy installing updates and tracking files on independent computers across the building. Communication Medium a computer network can provide a very powerful communication medium to people spread broadly at various physical locations. It works as a very powerful communication medium when it comes to sharing resources and information. Speed Networks provide a very fast method for transferring and sharing files. The sharing of data with the other users in a stand-alone environment needs physical transfer of data. This can be carried out by copying the data on a floppy disk or taking a printout. This needs more time and is inconvenient as compared to sharing the data over a network. Instant and multiple accesses Computer networks are processed multiply. Many of the users can access the same information simultaneously. Immediate commands like printing commands can also be given by using computer networks. Video conferencing Before the advent of the computer networks, there was no concept for video conferencing. LAN and WAN have made it possible for business sectors and organizations to call the live video conferencing for significant meetings and discussions. Flexible Computer networks are very flexible. All of its networking strategies and topologies support addition for extra components and terminals to the network. They are equally fit for big as well as small organizations. Reliable 
Computer networks need to be authentic when safety of the data is concerned. If one of the attached system collapses, same data can be collected from another system attached to the same network. Data transmission Data is transferred at a rapid speed, even in the scenarios when one or two terminal machines fail to work effectively. Data transmission is seldom affected in the computer networks. Almost complete communication can be achieved in crucial scenarios. Provides broader view. For a common user, computer network is a unique idea to share his or her individual opinions to the world. Facts to learn. In a server-based network, there are computers set up to be primary providers of services such as file service or mail service. The computers providing the service are called servers and the computers that request and use the service are called client computers. Network Components All but the most basic networks need devices to provide functionality and connectivity. Server Servers can be mainframes, minis and micros which can support different softwares, store and process information at a very high speed. Workstations All the user computers connected to a network are known as workstations. A typical workstation is a computer that is configured with a networking software, network interface card and the suitable cables. Hubs Hubs are at the bottom of the networking food chain. Hubs are used in networks that utilize twisted pair cabling to link devices. Hubs can also be connected together to create bigger networks. Hubs are common devices that direct data packets to all devices linked to the hub. Irrespective of it, the data package is destined for the device. This makes them inefficient devices and can create a performance bottleneck on busy networks. Switches Like hubs, switches are the connectivity points of an Ethernet network. Devices connect to switches via twisted pair cabling, one cable for every device. The difference between switches and hubs is in how the devices deal with the data they accept, whereas a hub forwards the data it accepts to all of the ports on the device. A switch forwards it only to the port that links to the destination device. Hub and Switch Cabling Apart from networking as a link point for network devices, hubs and switches can also be linked to create bigger networks. This link can be achieved through standard ports with a specific cable or by using specific ports with a standard cable. Bridges Bridges are used to divide bigger networks into smaller sections. They do this by sitting between two physical network segments and manage the flow of data between the two. Routers In a usual configuration, routers are used to create bigger networks by joining two network segments. A router may be a dedicated hardware device or a computer system with more than one network interface and the adequate routing software. All modern network operating systems incorporate the functionality to work as a router. Always remember, routers will generally create add or divide on the network layer because they are generally IP-based devices. Gateways Any device that translates one data format to another is known as a gateway. Some examples of gateways comprise of a router that translates data from one network protocol to another, a bridge that changes between two networking systems, and a software application that changes between two dissimilar formats. Network Cards Network cards, also said to be network interface cards, are devices that enable computers to link to the network. The network interface card, NIC, provides the physical link between the computer and the network workstation. Always remember, the Bell 103 was the first commercial modem manufactured by AT&T in 1962. Modems a modem, short form of modulator, demodulator, is a device that changes the digital signals appeared by a computer into analog signals that may travel over conventional phone lines.
The modem at the receiving end changes the signal back into a format the computer can understand. Modems may be used as a means to link to an ISP or as a mechanism to dial up to a LAN. What is a wireless network? A wireless local area network, LAN, uses radio waves to link devices like laptops to the internet and to your business network. When you link a laptop to a Wi-Fi hotspot at a hotel, cafe, airport lounge or other public place, you are linking to that business's wireless network. Wireless Network versus Wired Network a wired network links devices to the internet or other network applying cables. The most common wired networks use cables linked to Ethernet ports on the network router at one end and to a computer or other device on the cable's opposite end. Advantages of a wireless network Small businesses may experience several advantages from a wireless network incorporating Convenience Access your network resources from any place within your wireless network's coverage area or from any Wi-Fi hotspot. Mobility You are no longer tied to your desk because you were attached with a wired connection. For instance, you and your employees can go online in conference room meetings. Productivity Wireless access to the internet and to your company's key utilities and resources Assist your staff to get the work done and motivates collaboration. Easy setup. You don't have to string cables, so installation can be instant and cost effective. Expandable. You may easily expand wireless networks with existing equipment, while a wired network might need additional wiring. Security. Advances in wireless networks provide very strong security protections. Cost. Wireless networks reduce or eliminate wiring costs. They may cost less to operate in comparison to wired networks. Various kinds of networks Various kinds of networks may be distinguished based on their size in terms of the number of machines, their data transfer speed, and their reach. Private networks are those networks that belong to a single organization. The three categories of networks are LAN, Local Area Network, MAN, Metropolitan Area Network, WAN, Wide Area Network. Facts to Learn In 1965, Thomas Marrell and Lawrence G. Roberts created the first Wide Area Network, WAN. This was an immediate precursor to the ARPANET of which Roberts became Program Manager. LAN LAN stands for Local Area Network. It's a group of computers which belong to one organization and which are connected within a small geographic area using a network and often the same technology, the most widespread being Ethernet. A local area network is a network in its commonest form. Data transfer speeds over a local area network can reach up to 10 Mbps, like for an Ethernet network and 1 Gbps as with Gigabit Ethernet or FDDI. A local area network can reach as many as 100 or even 1000 users. By expanding the definition of a LAN to the services that it gives, two different operating modes can be defined as a peer-to-peer -peer network in which communication is performed from one computer to another without a central computer and where every computer will have the same role. A client or server environment in which a central computer gives network services to users. MAN MAN Metropolitan Area Network links multiple geographically nearby lands to one another over an area of up to a few dozen kilometers at rapid speeds. Thus, a MAN allows two remote nodes communicate as if they were part of the same local area network. A MAN is made from routers or switches linked to one another with high-speed links, generally fiber optic cables. WAN a WAN, Wide Area Network or Extended Network, links multiple LANs to one another over long geographic distances. The speed available on a WAN changes depending on the cost of the connections, 
which increases with distance. WANs operate using routers, which can select the most adequate path for data to reach a network node. Internet is the most well-known WAN. Network Topologies Network topology signifies the layout of a network and the manner in which various nodes in a network are linked and communicate with each other. There are four fundamental kinds of topology used for networking computers. There are two other kinds of networks, TANs, tiny area network, which are as same as LANs but smaller, two to three machines, and CANs, campus area networks, which are as same as MANs with bandwidth confined between each of the LANs network. Always remember, in local area networks where bus topology is used, each node is connected to a single cable. Each computer or server is connected to the single bus cable. Linear bus A linear bus topology contains a main run of cable with a terminator at every end. All nodes, workstations, file server and peripherals are connected to the linear cable. Star a star topology is designed with every node, workstations, file server, and peripherals linked directly to a switch, central network hub, or concentrator. Data on a star network passes through the hub, switch, or concentrator before continuing to its target. The hub, switch, or concentrator controls and manages all functions of the network. It also works as a repeater for the data flow. This configuration is simple with twisted pair cable. However, it may also be used with fiber optic cable or coaxial cable. Tree or expanded star A tree topology joins the characteristics of linear bus and star topologies. It contains groups of star-configured workstations linked to a linear bus backbone cable. Tree topologies permit for the expansion of an existing network and enable schools to configure a network to fulfill their requirements. Ring topology In this kind of network, every node of the network is linked to two other nodes of the network. The first and the last node is also linked to each other and form a ring. The data flows from one node to the next node in a circular manner in one direction. Summary In the world of computers, networking is the practice of connecting two or more computing devices together for data sharing purpose. A computer network can be defined as the interconnection or coordination of a number of individual computers. A wireless local area network, LAN, utilities radio waves to link devices like laptops to the internet and to your business network and its applications. LAN stands for Local Area Network. MAN's Metropolitan Area Network links multiple geographically nearby LANs to one another over an area of up to a few dozen kilometers at rapid speed. A WAN, Wide Area Network or Extended Network, links multiple lands to one another over long geographic distances.